Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about uh, July 12th, uh, two game LPL League of Legends slate. Um, you know, it's, it's today's slate's going to be a pretty chalky slate with two big favorites. Um, but I did want to share, I did want to share maybe some insights on what, what a good GPP play would be and who I think will have a good kill upside um, in terms of, you know, between those two matchups. But first, um, this morning we did pretty well. Um, you know, I had a takedown this morning in the $10 GPP, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, so I had a $10 GPP contest takedown but I split it, I think, 12 ways <laughs> with 11 other people. Um, so, but either way, you know, having, getting that first spot in a big GPP like that is a, is a good feeling. So let's continue that. Um, I played one, uh, I, I had JDG, I had two, I had two lineups, one lineup with JDG, um, LNG, and then JDG uh, uh, FPX. I knew J, J, you know, JDG, if they got it, if they get it going, they, you know, would score really well. So I've made JDG as my primary stack, the four player stack um, on both lineups. And then I filled in LNG and then uh, um, FPX uh, uh, pieces here and there. So, so yeah, let's keep it going. Um, we had a good uh, DFS slate, um, but we didn't, we did not have a good, uh, you know, prize picks prop bet slate. But two days ago, we actually did a really good job. I mean, we, it was flawless. We <clears throat> hit five out of five on prop bets and four out of four on the match predictions two days ago. So, you know, here and there, we're going to get takedowns. I think it's a pretty good record that I, <clears throat> that I have going. Um, at least one of, you know, at least one of them does really well. Um, so I hope you guys uh, <clears throat> continue watching the videos and then, I hope you guys also consider um, joining my Patreon um, as a patron to see, um, uh, you know, I'll, I'll post prop bets and match predictions probably later tonight, uh, and later tonight by 11 o'clock for sure. Um, I'll share my favorite uh, prop bets and then you know, I'll have my match predictions that, you know, some kind of line up, you know, align with, um, you know, the match predictions that I make on the videos. So anyway, I hope you join them. Um, it's been fun with interacting, um, interacting with the patrons here. So it's been fun. Hope you guys join. Um, all right. So let's dive in into the two game slate here today. Um, it's an RNG versus WE. RNG is a big favorite at minus 1600. Um, RNG should win. I just don't see any path, maybe a little bit of path in the bottom lane with Zing and heels starting, but Team WE, as you know, has un uh, winless this split. They are 0 and 6 in series and 3 and 12 in games. They are technically the worst team in DLPL. Um, along with Invictus Gaming and LGD, they have one win at least, um, but Team WE has six, lost six in a row. So they are looking for that win, but I don't think it's going to come today against RNG. RNG has is coming, you know, off of that ba uh, bad loss against top esports, and I think they're going to come out firing um, against a bad team like in Team WE. Um, but in my experience, I guess this is some, this is like a nugget that I would like to share with you guys that when RNG comes off of a bad loss against an elite team like that, they always try to like regroup themselves um, and in an orderly fashion. So they, what I mean by that is they try to focus on the macro game and try to win the game that way. I don't think they are like Genji or let's say like top esports, um, OMG, or JDG, where they just like smash you with kills and they always want to skirmish and win through team fights, want to win through team fights. 
after coming off of a bad loss like that. RNG is more like EDG and T1 where they try to focus on the macro game the next day or the next series after coming off of a bad loss and try to win it that way. And what, what, the reason I bring that up is that I do think that matters a lot when, it, when I measure the kill upside. So knowing just given that scenario and the situation that RNG is in, I think it kind of reduces the kill upside that RNG is having today, going to have today against a bad team like in Team WE. So I do think this matchup is going to be significantly um, less in the kill upside column. And that's all already going to be pretty popular. I think that's going to be a popular take anyway. I wish the CKPM for this matchup is higher um, than the OMGTES matchup. Um, but I do think CKPM at 0.82 is going to be it's going gonna, it's gonna to be lower than 0.82. That's what I'm trying to say. I, I do think RNG is going to win. And I do think it's going to be like maybe 13 to 5 or 14 to 5. Not, I don't think they'll ever reach uh, 20 kills today, in my opinion. I think they're going to, sorry, I think they're going to focus on the macro game and try to win the game, you know, in a, or in a, you know, in a traditional fashion instead of, um, you know, engaging in team fights constantly against a bad team like in Team WE. Because imagine if you're RNG, like pressure is building up, and if you lose, sorry, if you if you lose, I mean, that's gonna be that's gonna be really bad if they lose this game. You know, like Team WE, the worst team with zero win. So I do think with that pressure, also, I think RNG is gonna be um, focusing on that macro game. So. The other matchup is OMG versus top esports. And I do think this will be higher in kill upside um, as confirmed by the metrics that I'm looking at. OMG likes to play really fast. They, had, they have a 0.88 um, combined kills per minute, whereas top esports has 0 0.80. Both are really high still, but um, you saw that game, top esports against RNG where top esports actually won the game through team fights. I mean, they snowballed hard. Um, um, I predicted RNG to win because I thought top esports would, um, their own trends, their own tendencies in engaging in team fights that are futile would hurt them and backfired against them, but that actually did not happen. Top esports is a very scary team when they snowball and when they have an early lead. So I do think, top esports and OMG matchup will be high in kill upset. And OMG traditionally has given up a lot of kills to the to their opponents. And also if they do win somehow, pull this off, they will score really well as well. I mean, they like to win team fights, uh, you know, by engaging in team. Uh, they like to win the games by engaging in team fights as well. They're similar in nature. So that tells me that I, I do think OMG makes a decent GPP play. Obviously they make a better bit GPP play than Team WE. I mean, from the ownership standpoint, I get it. Team WE, I mean, the biggest underdog, um, I can see maybe playing one lineup in a big, like the main GPP, but I just don't see the, see, a, see many paths of Team WE pulling that upset off of RNG, especially by winning two games in a best of three series. If it weren't like an LEC or LCS game where they're playing in one best of one, I mean, man, I mean, like, yeah, it could happen, but in a best of three, I, I don't think it's likely. So anyway, so back to the OMG TES matchup. Yeah, I mean, all those metrics point to TES and all the eye test points to TES winning. I think OMG has a shot. Um, Sean G actually has been playing pretty, pretty well for that team. Um, I'm a little concerned about our keys, kill, kill participation rate, and then as well as um, cream in the middle. But I do think Able and Cold are serviceable way to carry bottom uh, support duo in the bottom lane, but they're going up against Jackie Love and Mark. And I do think Top Esports will be motivated to play today here. Um, I do think the motivation really matters for Top Esports. I've joked about this before, but when they play against elite teams, I smash them because they show up. And frankly, that's something that I kind of overlooked when they were playing against RNG um, because that actually, you know, fit in that category. So OMG, I think, I think, I mean, they have a pretty good record. They have their four and four. They're on a two game winning streak. Top esports need this win to tie JDG um, in the second place. Um, they will need to win 
two zero to claim that reclaim that second place and they've won seven in a row um that is amazing so if i think i think they will treat omg pretty seriously and i think that it will help that omg likes to skirmish a lot as scary as that sounds i think top esports tends to struggle against a macro team like edg and i thought rng but i guess not so <laughs> Um, anyway, so yeah, because given all of that, I do think TES RNG makes a good cash lineup, obviously. Um, ultimately, I think top esports will probably be the highest scoring team. So I'll go TES RNG and then OMG. I mean, at this, I mean, I know, I know you guys saw this morning probably if you played this morning slate. I mean, a game stack was a uh, was viable. Um, the rare Adam game. Uh, the game stack, you know, actually <laughs> ended up working out surprisingly because of te JDG's uh, tendencies to just fight nonstop. Um, it was good for me. I mean, obviously I had a takedown, but still like game stacks are not usually viable. And I do think RNG and Team WE, I think RNG will went 2 0 and with that game not play bonus, I don't think game stack would be viable. I think RNG will still score pretty well. Um, so that's just something I, I was considering earlier, just to look at, you know, if any game stack would be viable today as well. But no, I don't think so. I mean, I think RNG scores well enough to to kind of, you know, eliminate that possibility. So, but anyway, I think I do think OMG is viable um, as an as, a, as like a GBP play. Um, OMG has shown that they are capable of beating some elite teams um and that can happen i mean as long as aki and cream play well i think that like i said i think it could happen um shanji actually has been playing playing probably playing the best i've ever seen out of him um at this split so i do think omg is viable but at the end of the day i'm gonna have to predict rng and tes both winning so and then let's see. Yeah, I've talked about the kill upside. Yeah, I think this is going to be the matchup to target. Otherwise, yeah. And then, like I said, I'll have some prize picks, uh, prop bets, and match predictions here shortly by 11 o'clock Eastern time. So if you uh, are interested, come check it out at patreon.com at uh, slash DFS Chan. This video has been sponsored by True DFS. Um, please go check them out. Um, it, this is going to be uploaded on True DFS YouTube channel, um, and they make uh, we make videos about other sports as well, like MLB. Um, so if you uh, you know want to check those out, that'd be great. And if you like the video, please hit the like button. You know that helps me and motivates me to keep these uh, videos going for you guys. And um, also. Um, subscribe to our channel. Thanks, everybody. Good luck out there. And if you guys have any questions, reach out to me on Patreon or Twitter or on YouTube or Discord at TrueDFS. Thanks.